Dwellers and welcome back to the next episode of our Fallout 4 Casual Let's Play. I'm over at the Boston Airport where I just finished building the four actuators we need for Liberty Prime. I went through the workbenches and found a high powered magnet so we don't need to actually go through one of the hospitals to find one which I would have been fine doing if we had had to do that but if I can take a little shortcut, but I, I can, I will. Yeah, good for you. I hear that stuff's pretty good. Alright, we need to speak with Proctor Ingram. Proctor. That's all four actuators. Delivered and done. Nice work. Right on schedule. I've completed the restoration of Prime's basic functions, and he's ready to go. In fact, it's getting difficult to explain to the system why it can't move right now. Well, as soon as my scribes get those actuators in place, we'll have his arms and legs installed in no time. Which brings me to your next assignment. It won't be long before Prime can walk and talk, but he's missing one last important element. His nukes. Without them, his offensive systems aren't operating at peak capacity. What's Prime armed with? Prime has two weapon systems, his eye laser and his nuke pack. The eye laser can target a hostile from hundreds of yards out and take it down with pinpoint accuracy. His nukes are modified Mark 28 nuclear bombs. They used to drop the things from bombers during the war. Just one of the nukes is equivalent to about three or four fat man shells. Basically, whatever it hits isn't getting up again. His eye laser is almost ready to go, but without nukes to load into his pack, he's fighting at less than half his capability. Shouldn't be a problem. Just tell me where they are. I wish I could. Prime's bomb pack is fitted for Mark 28 nuclear bombs. The same type of bombs that were dropped from aircraft during the Great War. The Commonwealth was a major staging area for the military's air force, so we assumed we wouldn't have trouble finding them. But since we arrived, our scouting teams haven't located a single bomb. That's going to be a problem. Without a fully loaded nuke pack, Prime won't have the firepower to take on the Institute. She's right. Of course she's right. But before you give up hope, there's actually a silver lining here. Proctor Quinlan has located some records regarding a military installation, which was used as a nuclear weapons storage facility. We're fairly certain this included a stockpile of the Mark 28s. The catch is that the installation is located somewhere within the glowing sea. What do you mean you're only fairly certain? Are they in there or not? The glowing sea is so heavily irradiated, it's giving us echoed readings and false positives. We're just gonna have to trust the records on this one. Scribe Halen's established a communications point on the frontier of the glowing sea. I suggest you head out there first, and establish a signal protocol with her so that the nukes can be airlifted out once you've located them. Hopefully, by the time you've returned, we'll be ready to wake Prime up, and you can say hello. Good luck, Knight. Okay, well, I know exactly where we need to go. Oh, wow. Liberty Prime, you're looking good. Still in bits and pieces, but you'll get there, dear. Alright, I do not have Good my hazmat suit on me. Shot. Leaves that memorable ozone smell behind. Uh, uh, that's all plus, I guess. So I need to pop back over to Sanctuary and grab our hazmat suit, and then we can head to the Glowing Sea. Alright, sorry about that. Uh, we need that. Thank you. Okay, so I'm still carrying all the uh, meat that we got from Long Neck Lakowski's. I need to sit down and cook all that up. Uh, we're not irradiated, so let's get out of here. Oh, after we put our hazmat suit on, I guess. Well, no, I guess we can do it down there. Never mind. We need to go all the way over here. Okay. 
And I will meet you guys at Scrub Halen. Oh, there you are, Scrub Halen. Long time no Good see. Good to see you again, Knight. You've come a long way since you stumbled into Cambridge Police Station. I have. Thanks, Halen. I assume the place is still in one piece. <laughs> We're doing the best that we can. We've had the occasional synth attack, but so far we've been able to keep them from overrunning us. Thanks to the reinforcements and the air support, I'd say that site was secure. What about those feral ghouls? Are they still a problem? With a vertebrate at our disposal? Not a chance. Anyway, I know you don't have time for small talk, so I'll get right to it. I've had the men set up the equipment we'll need to pinpoint you once you've found the bombs. We've rigged up this distress pulser to emit a unique tone that we'll be listening for. When you find the bombs, plant the pulser. We'll handle the rest. After that, you should probably head back to Proctor Ingram and bring her your report. Doesn't sound too difficult. Ah, uh, no. Not at all. You're only heading back into the most inhospitable place in the entire Commonwealth. Look, I know you've been through the glowing sea before, but... Remember to keep an eye on your Geiger counter. If you don't, the radiation will cook you from the inside out. Good luck, Knight. Okay, thank you, Scribe Halen. Alright, let me see how close can I get us to the location. I think probably Virgil's Cave is going to be our closest location. Yeah, so we're going to start from there. Oh, sugar britches, I forgot about you. Well, actually, I didn't. I just didn't expect you to be alive. Can we? Oh, you are full of health. Oh, you're... Oh, I feel bad now. I think I broke its legs. All right. Well, that was sad. Let's reload our gun. And flip over to the deliverer. Alright, there we go. What did you have on you? Ooh, you are just kibbles and bits now. That would take your me uh, I guess give me your hand. It does break down into leather, so in bone. And we should not have to go too far. Wow, it is awful bright in this area, the glowing sea. Not quite as green as it normally is. Quite strange. Anything down there? No. That's good. I decided that as much as possible, I'd like to be done with using the companions. So, I've got, uh, I started taking perks into Lone Wanderer. Got one of them, I think. Um, I've pretty much gotten all of the companion perks that I really wanted. And if we need them, you know, I can always just put them back on the team and take the hit for not use, having the Lone Wanderer on. It's totally fine. And there's our destination. Yeah, lovely. Yeah, this is not going to go well. Yep. There we go. More. Oh, I hate these bugs. I really hate these bugs. Thank you. They are so hard to try and hit. And I am not... Oh, I'll take your cue ball, though. Going out into the middle of all that. Uh, yeah. Big triangle building. Well, yeah. Pyramid building, I guess. And let me figure out where the door is here. I think it's on this other side. Or is it at the top? No, I don't think it's the top. County Crossing should have plenty of defense. 
and be able to defend itself. Well, I guess it was back there. Alright. Well, hopefully the rest of the munitions are inside. Let's go find out. Alrighty, let's get in here and find out what we need to do. It's been a very, very long time since I've done this mission. Because I do not normally work with the Brotherhood of Steel. They are not anywhere near my favorite faction in the game. Uh, that's an empty hole. I think we can come out there at the end. I believe there are ghouls here. So let's switch over to uh, Molotov. Oh, do we not have any Molotovs? Oh, no. Oh, yes, I do. I have nine. Okay. Well, let's see what we can see. Not a heck of a lot. Oh, that didn't even help. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm sure we're going to be detected by everything. Oh, that's very dark. Not going that way. Oh, I can't. So we need to go back up and back around. If I could see to get out of here. There we go. Maybe it'll help. I know they're down there. They're probably going to come swarm us all at once. I knew you were down there. Oh, I see you now. Here. Let's just preemptively throw something down. There we go. What do I have here? Oh, we have an inside. I really do not remember the layout of this building very well. Or what is even here? I think I do remember getting lost quite a bit though. I think there's children of Adam here. There's the same. Whoop. Okay, back out. Not gonna work? Okay. Fair enough. Oh, great. We have mole rats, too. Hmm. Do we need to turn power on back here or something? Oh, during launch. Okay. Maybe if I read the terminal... <laughs> it's been so long since I've actually read a, read one in the game. Ooh, technical document. I will take that. Thank you. Right. Ooh, can we avoid that other room altogether? Probably not. Maybe? No. Oh, maybe we can. So we probably need a Fort Watch sequence. Yeah, that'll work. 
Okay, that's probably what we needed to do. Oh yeah, it was. We are halfway. I'd kind of like to know what was in that other room about halfway up. And we have an elevator. Okay. Is that where I want to go? I don't know. No, I think I need to go all the way down and go through the tunnels. down a little further. Oh, I really don't want to be here. Oh, are you dead? You are now. Bible, for example. Oh, no! There you are. I saw that. And oh, no. Oh, no. Go away. Go away. Oh, you're legendary. Oh, great. Okay. Okay. I saw the mini nuke or big man nuke and thought it was a person standing behind us. So, little freak out moment. Sorry about that. Oh, the children of Adam. I thought I remembered them being here. Alright. What else? Do guys have any more blood samples that would be nice oh we still need to go back and check on that yeah, another child of Adam there I figured that they would be here it's, uh, in the glowing sea they are oh no 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 darn it Oh, boy. Shoot. Just shoot. Oh, yeah, yeah. There we go. Maybe not rush so much? There we go. Oh, I see. <laughs> they are in the glowing sea. <laughs> Now that I can remember what I was talking about. And near the crater where they uh, are living. And nuclear weapons. Uh, they probably would like to drop them themselves. Or get a hold of all these themselves. Are these schools drinking vodka? Hmm, that's a scary thought. What are you doing, little ghoul? Alright, you're dead. Uh, oh, we got away. Uh, that way. Because where you moved. box. Another Nuka K ticket. Mm. It always amazes me that none of the children of Adam are ghouls. At least the ones that I can remember saying. here. So it looks like we need to go across this way. You're dead. You're dead. Oh, jeez. We've got two ways. And this is where I'm going to end up getting lost. Of course, it really doesn't take all that much for me to get lost. So, <laughs> Yep. 
Oh, yeah, no. Th that's just wrong. You should not be allowed to do that. No, no, no. Ouch. Yeah, you back off, puppy. There we go. This is so creepy, them just popping out of the walls like that. Anything? Oh, they had a whole hidey hole back in here. Oh, that makes sense. Ooh, lunchbox. Oh, Nuka-Cola Quantum. Very nice. I saw that. Take your bottle caps. I don't think you need them anymore. This place gives me the major creeps. And that should be... Oh, sugar. It's over this way. Oh. Where? I heard you. There. That was sneaky, sneaky. And you are already dead. So what did you have on you? Chameleon. Are you dead? Or now? Alright, anything else in here? I guess not. So it looks like we're going the other way and then down. I can live with that as long as we get out of here safely and get whatever it is we need. We should be coming up. soon. Yeah, this should be it. Alright. Anything over here? No. Okay. Child of Adam. Door. And I think that's the way out. And if I remember right, there is a glowing one on that thing up there. So, I am prepared for that. That's where we need to get into. But to get in there, we actually need to go through here, right? And it should be a child of Adam. Yes. All right. Hello, brother. Hi. State your purpose, stranger. You walk on Adam's hallowed ground. Who's Adam? Adam is all. He is the bringer of light, the great divider. He is the infinite worlds within all of us. I'm looking for some bombs. Nuclear bombs. The children of Adam have sworn to guard this place until the time of the great divide. None shall enter. You know, I did not change my clothing. What's this great divide? One day, Atom will return, and his touch upon the earth will bring the great divide. His glow will spread, it will illuminate, and it will birth infinite worlds from within us all. Trust me, I'm on your side here. I want to help you out. Atom has no need of help from non-believers. When he returns to us, these relics will carry his word and his glory to all corners of the earth. That is why they must be safeguarded. I want to spread his, uh... His glory. Uh, look, the bombs will get used, okay? Isn't that what you want? Perhaps then oh, I have good. misjudged you. If you would see these relics used, then Atom's will is done. Take this. 
and prepare to enter his inner sanctum. Follow the brilliance of the glow, and it shall lead you to the relics. May Adam's radiance warm your soul. Okay, well, I'm glad it didn't matter that uh, I didn't have my charisma boosting clothes on, so. Yay, because I didn't want to have to fight them. What else do you have here, Henry? Anything important? Probably not. Nice. I'm going to take the experience, though. And just another little hidey hole. Should have put a turret in there, Henry. May Atom guide you. Or hid your assaultron in there. Is that what I want to do? Yes. Yeah. All right. Let me get in here. So now all we gotta do is return to Proctor Ingram and we can continue on with uh, the next quest. I'm not sure what she's got us doing next. All right, yeah, I know this thing's coming. Is it coming down? Oh Lord, it's coming down, all right. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Yeah, you, you need to lose your legs. There we go. Oh, I don't want not taking you home as a present. I'm sorry. I'm sure you were quite lovely and a nice person and you would be a hit at parties, but I don't think we really need you. This way, maybe? Yep. And we should be right back up at the top. Oh. Whew. Had to hold my breath for a minute. Um, yeah, to, to be able to do this quest, the game crashed four or five times. Every time I tried to load into the um, building. And I did not kill these things before I went in because I came a different path get back over here. Right, where are you guys going? Really? I guess you're not a murder bug for nothing. Come on. Get it before it goes behind the building. I guess not. Darn it. I just want to leave this crazy place. Oh, good. They're all fighting over there. We'll just go this way. Let's see if we can get out of here. Oh, we are still in danger. From what? Oh, he's after our giblets. That's what it is. Okay, now we're in caution. That's good. Ooh. Another viable blood sample. Very nice. We should have enough to be able to return to her, and she should start giving us um, a reward for doing this soon. Oh, the crashed airliner. We did not find this on the way here the last time, did we? Well, let's go check it out since we're right here. I think I wanted to come over here when the first time we were at the glowing sea and I uh, of course just never made it here come on hit it thank you
is find in the children of Adam and Virgil's cave before I made it here, so. I remember there's not really much here, just the black box. Skyline's Flight 1665, was that it? Yeah, 1665. Approaching Boston from the west. We've got heavy winds, but it shouldn't be a problem. Lining up for runway two at heading. What the hell is that? Some kind of bright light from the north. the end of the airline. All right, are we safe? Good. All right, let's bobble back over to the Boston airport and turn this in. Oh, what? All right, let's go to Finn County Crossing. Oh, gunners. Great. They always get attacked by these people. Uh, that's not what I wanted. Do this. I guess it's a good thing I came. Why did you destroy my turrets? Shame on you. Strip you naked. Are you? You're broken. Of course you are. <laughs> My subtle oh goodness, is that a Did I hear an assaultron? Oh lord. Oh shoot, that was my assaultron. Dang it. Yep, sorry. That was you. I keep forgetting I <laughs> My provisioners are the assaultrons. Oh my goodness. Are you, you guys okay? Thanks for your help. Yep, yep. I was glad to help out. I can't argue with your timing. Who knows what would happen to us if you hadn't been here. Anyway, we appreciate the help. No problem. Alright. Oh, I'm very... Oh, shoot. Now what? Really? Target destroyed. Anything else? Okay. And let me get everything repaired. Get gravy. What a. Are you sure we're not still in the glowing sea? I lost where I put that. There we go. Alright. This place gets attacked so much. you're okay. What about you? And you're fine too. <sighs> Whoa. Where are those gunners at? Alright, they must have fallen outside of the workshop. Wow, I have not seen a rad storm like this in forever. This floor, there was a gunner over here. Maybe not. Oh, yep, there you are. Here we go. Just take out the trash real quick. And you guys are all okay. Yep, all right. That works. Let me drop all this stuff off that I picked up off the gunners. Okay, now we can get back over to the Boston Airport.
Okay, let's get our clothes changed. Get back to our normal appearance. There we go. Much better. And Can't talk right now. Gotta clean the Meyerlurk scat off my boots. All right. Hope that goes well for you. And I heard that Elder Maxon got that scar in his face from going one on one with a death claw. Eh, good for you. And Proctor mm -hmm. Ingram. Looks like the Mark Twenty Eights are gonna do the trick. That was a good find. Oh, he's looking I'll work good. To ensure that Prime's bombs remain stable after they're loaded into his pack, it won't be too much of a problem. Well, Doctor Lee, I have to admit, we couldn't have done this without you. It's a little early to begin celebrating, Proctor Ingram. We haven't fully thrown the switch on Liberty Prime, and I'm just hoping all the work I've done to keep his system stable are going to hold. I have full confidence in everyone's abilities here. I appreciate that. I do, Proctor. All the readouts look green. I think it's time for you to perform the power shunt. Actually, I think I'm gonna let you press the button. After all, without your help, we'd still be staring at a pile of disassembled parts. It would be better if a trained technician performed that task, but... It's a button, Dr. Lee. you deserve to be the one to do it. Of course, the last time I pushed a button, things exploded. Oh, he's looking really good. I always liked Liberty Prime. Here we go. Liberty Prime, back online. Alright, let's run a basic diagnostic on him. Diagnostic command. Look at him go. Accepted. Give him a moment. He needs to adjust to his new configuration. Voice module, online. Audio functionality test, initialized. Designation. Liberty Prime, Mark II. Mission, the liberation of Anchorage, Alaska. Oh, yep, right on task. Primary targets, any and all red Chinese invaders. Now let me run a system analysis and a battle readiness check. Liberty Prime, full system analysis. All systems, nominal, weapons. Hot. <laughs> Warning. Nuclear weapon payload depleted. Reload required. Warning. Power core offline. Running on external power only. Core restart recommended. Ability to repel red Chinese invaders compromised. <laughs> Are you done? Lights across the board here. He's looking good from where I'm sitting. Doctor, if you wouldn't mind keeping an eye on the big guy here, I'd appreciate it. Well, I have to admit, I wasn't sure we'd be able to pull it off, but Liberty Prime's looking pretty good. What was that he said about his power core? Prime's in top shape, but his nuclear engine needs to be restarted. Right now, we have him running off of the Pridwin's engines. Once I get that sorted out, send him off to kick in the Institute's front door. Before you head off to your next assignment, I have something for you. I came up with this little beauty myself. I think it'll add a bit more punch to your power armor. I'm sure it will. You didn't have to do that, Ingram. <sighs> Come on. You earned the damn thing. Besides, Liberty Prime isn't about to run out and get you a gift. <laughs> anyway, that's enough of that. You better hightail it up to the Pridwin. Elder Maxson said he needed to speak to you as soon as you were done here. And thank you, Knight. Without you, none of this would have been possible. Okay, now if I'm right, this is the last Since thing we are doing for the Brotherhood. Because he should tell us... Yes, we just started Blind Betrayal, so... We are done with the Brotherhood missions. In the next episode, I think we're going to go do the battle for Bunker Hill. What is that over there? I have no idea. And get working on...
what in the world to the east? I have no clue what that outline is. Alright, I'm sure I will figure it out eventually. But for now, we are done with the Brotherhood. So I'm very thankful and happy about that. And we are one step closer to getting the Minuteman ending, I hope. So, for now, thank you for joining me. I've been Vault Girl. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I hope I see you in the next one.